so welcome to this tutorial in this tutorial we will talk about centrifugal pump all right so basically in case of centrifugal pump uh, what you uh, what is the basic concept what is the definition i am not going to share with you you can easily read such type of definition from anywhere but exactly what i am going to share with you what you require to solve numerical problems related to this topic that kind of things I am going to I am going to share with you. That means formula as well as a problem which has been asked in gate previous year. I will share with you that thing. So there are two relations required to solve numerical problems in this case. Yeah, of course there is another uh, another relation you required. I will share with you, but that is that relation is not required in this question, which question has been asked in gate previous year. So first relation we require that is root under h1 d1 n1 is equal to root under h2 d2 n2 h is head d is diameter and is revolution per minute of that pump. Now second relation required that is that is that, that relation is also very common q1 d1 n1 is equal to q2 d2 n2. Here D D both the same Q is discharge. Okay. Now most important relation one on the relation that that is required that is specific speed. Okay. That is for specific speed. N S is equal to N root under Q S to the power three by four. The same relation is for uh, is I have already shared with this for turbine, but there is a difference there s to the power 5 by 4 we usually read right so these three relation are most important uh, in case of uh, centrifugal pump but uh, the first uh, by using first two relation this one and this one we can solve the numerical problems which has been asked uh, in gate previous year all right so so what you require to solve the numerical problems first formulas what i have already shared with you so based on these two formulas you can solve the numerical problem right now what you have to think what you need to just go to the numerical problem which i'm just going to share with you here this is the numerical problem we are going to solve here and uh, you need to do what you need to understand the question first and uh, uh, solve the numerical problem right so let's read the question what we have given in this question a centrifugal pump running at 500 rpm and at its maximum efficiency is delivering a head of 30 meter so n is 500 rpm and its head is 30 meter at a flow rate of 60 liters per second at a flow rate of 60 liters per second that means q is equal to 60 liters per sec uh, per not second it's minute okay if the rpm is changed to thousand this is case one they have said this is case one so let's say this one n1 this is h1 this is q1 case two so in case of case two what they said n2 is equal to thousand rpm okay now we have to find out then head and flow rate that is q in liters per minute at maximum efficiency okay so if if the condition is changing from here to here if revolution per minute is changing then we have to find out h and q so we have the same centrifugal pump now the first relation we can use that is i have already shared with you root under h1 by d1 n1 is equal to root under h2 d2 n2 okay we have given n1 we have given n2 we have given h1 we have to find out h2 because they have asked us to find out h now we don't know the value for d1 and d2 now read the question is there anywhere they have shared this information what is the diameter of that pump no they haven't shared but from the question only we can understand that they are changing its revolution per minute that means speed they are changing right but they are not changing the shape and size of the pump that means uh, for the case 2 also diameter would be same so from these two data we can say that d1 is equal to d2 therefore this one and this one i mean this d1 will cancel out so what we got here 
root under h1 by n1 is equal to root under h2 by n2 for the simplification we can get the answer so just do cross multiplication n2 is equal to root under h2 root under h1 multiple n1 so root under h2 is how much h2 is uh, we don't know we have to find out h2 right so uh, we have to find out h2 right so do calculation like this mm, yeah like this calculation we have to do h1 by h2 let's say and n1 by n2 so just to square both side okay so after squaring what get h1 by h2 is equal to n1 by n2 whole square now h2 is equal to what h1 multiple n2 by n1 r square h2 equal to so h1 is how much we have given 30 30 and n2 is what 1000 n1 is 500 square so 2 2 square 4 30 multiple 4 is equal to 120 meter that means the head we are getting 120 so just cross the option we have given whose head okay only only one option is crossing from that answer that means we have to find out discharge also then only we can uh, mark the right answer okay so why i have been doing this because i have seen many questions you know they have asked to find out two things but after finding out one thing we can get only one um, one answer for that question then we don't need to solve that question further we can mark that answer as right answer because we are having only one option but yes do check one thing what answer you have find out that should be uh, that should maintain accuracy you should get accurate or correct answer okay now <clears throat> now let's go for the numerical problems next that is we have to find out q2 also okay so we have done already h uh, h2 we have already find out now how to find out q2 q1 by d1 n1 is equal to q2 by d2 n2 we got the relation but again we know that d1 is equal to d2 that d1 and d2 cancel out so what we got from here q1 by n1 is equal to q2 by n2 what we have to find out q2 so q2 is equal to q1 by n1 multiple n2 therefore q1 is how much 60 and n1 how much we have given 500 n2 is 1000 so this one got 2 so six, uh, 60 multiple 2 to 120 120 liter per minute okay so q and h both are same now find out the option which option is just uh, you know just uh, correct for that for the i mean for the answer we have find out right so option c is the right answer for this question now let's review it again that's why you will understand what exactly you need to find out right now in case of centrifugal pump i have shared with you that these three formulas are most important and based on the first two formulas we got a question which has been asked in gear previous year okay and the next one is quite important also because i have already shared with you a question which has been asked from turbine and for Francis turbine okay so based on that data I must share with you this is NS NS is specific speed and yes if question they will come in the examination then probably this uh, this one is also important to find out its answer all right so basically uh, uh, yeah one more thing it's uh, it is a dimensionless quantity remember that specific speed is not having any dimension okay so you know also need to remember that so what you got basically from this numerical problem that uh, what are what are most important formulas of centrifugal pump first second other than the formula we have used in the numerical i have also shared with you one extra formula second third a formula i mean a numerical problem which has been asked in gate uh, we have solved in front of you for solving this numerical problem what you required basically those two relations first and second how to implement those relation in the numerical i mean uh, by using the data as we have given in the numerical problem so after implementing we got the right answer okay that's the right answer because i have already checked 
so uh, in this problem we have learned many things i hope you also learn something but what you have to do you have to practice based on those formulas few numerical problems probably previous year or from any book or any anywhere you, can, you need to practice otherwise you will forget those formulas okay so thanks for watching see you soon in my next video dot 12 bye bye